Paris, the city of lights and the city of love. The beautiful capital city of Paris is one of the most famous destinations in the world, and many people flock there every year to experience the incredible culture and admire the illustrious history and stunning architecture the city has to offer. When you're planning your trip to Paris, you might be wondering where exactly you should stay. Welcome to Multi-City Trips, the multi-destination travel expert for personalized multi-city trips to Europe. And in today's video, we give you our top pick and travel guide to eight of the best neighborhoods to visit or stay in when you visit Paris. New to our travel channel? We post new videos every Monday and Thursday, so subscribe today and ring the bell so you don't miss out on our latest travel guide, inspiration, tips, and amazing travel itineraries available to your favorite destinations in Europe. The city comprises 20 neighborhoods, called arrondissements, and all of them have their specific pros and cons. If you're unsure which to stay in, here are eight of the best neighborhoods in Paris you can consider for your next trip. To make the most of this Paris travel guide, check out our recommended hotels to stay in in each neighborhood and more things you can do in each area in the video description below. For a full list of recommendations, click on the link provided in the description to access the blog post version of this guide from our website. Let's dive in. Number 1. Montmartre As Paris is the city of love, it makes sense to start this list with one of the more romantic destinations. The general ambiance of Montmartre is stunning, with cobblestone streets and bright, colorful buildings. This historic neighborhood is a beautiful place to stay and explore. It's also a great destination if you are traveling by yourself or with friends. This is also the neighborhood where the Moulin Rouge is located. Montmartre was also home to the thriving bohemian and artistic culture Paris is still known for. Iconic artists such as Pablo Picasso or Salvador Dali lived and worked here in the early 1900s. If you visit today, you can explore the works created by local artists and creators. And who knows? Maybe you'll discover the next iconic Parisian artist. Number 2. Le Marais Le Marais is a great neighborhood to stay in in Paris if you want to experience the beauty and romance of cobblestone streets, colorful buildings, sidewalk cafes, and more of the iconic historic aspects that Paris is known for. The area is known today for being a central point for the city's gay community and has a lively nightlife scene. It's also a great neighborhood to travel to if you are visiting with kids. There are many museums and small shops that are great for travelers of all ages. Number 3. Belleville If you are interested in a more local experience, Belleville is one of the neighborhoods that might work well for you. It's a fast-growing and increasingly trendy area, so you'll have a unique opportunity to see what it used to be like and what it wants to become. While you're walking around Belleville, you might start to see smaller streets and other accents that make you feel like you might be in a much smaller village. This is because at one time, Belleville was outside the Paris city limits and was far from the hustle and bustle of the original city center. Number 4. Champs-Élysées One of the most famous streets in the world, the Champs-Élysées stretches for nearly 1.25 miles and is lined with historic monuments, beautiful cafes, and some of the best shopping in the world. Browse the latest collections from Louis Vuitton, Hermes, or Guerlain. You can also visit stores like H&M or Mac, or sample food at the many bakeries, patisseries, and cafes that are available along the street. The neighborhood isn't exclusively about shopping, though. You can visit the Arc de Triomphe or visit the Musée Nissim de Camondo to learn more about the history of decorative arts. Number 5. Canal Saint-Martin If your idea of a perfect Paris trip does not involve busy tourist attractions and other famous things to see, 
then Canal Saint-Martin is the neighborhood for you. If you stay in this neighborhood, you'll get as close you can get to feeling like a local as you can get without actually packing up and moving here. If you're a fan of French cinema, this is a great destination for you. The 2001 film Amélie was filmed here, and this is also where the Hôtel du Nord is located. This hotel is the inspiration for the 1938 drama film of the same name. Number 6. Latin Quarter The Latin Quarter is a great neighborhood to stay for first-time visitors to Paris. Today, it is a great mix of history and nightlife. This is the area where ancient Romans first settled, so you can see some authentic archaeological sites throughout the area. The area is also popular with students, which can be a benefit if you're looking for bars and clubs to experience while you're here. This neighborhood is also the site of many museums, such as the Musée de Cluny, a museum that boasts a collection of medieval art. The famous Pantheon is also located here. Number 7. The 7th Arrondissement This neighborhood is home to the architectural marvel that is the Eiffel Tower. This is a great neighborhood to stay in if you want the quintessential Parisian tourist experience including some incredible sightseeing and exquisite culinary experiences. Number 8. Saint-Germain Saint-Germain is another quintessentially Parisian neighborhood with historic architecture, an incredible selection of culinary offerings, and a thriving sidewalk cafe culture. One of the most famous cafes in the neighborhood is the Café Procope, which is not only the oldest café in Paris, but the oldest café in the world. It was first opened in 1686 by a chef from Sicily who was named Procopio Couto, although the French version of his name was François Procope, which is how the café got its name. It was a central point for the artistic and literary community in Paris and it saw many famous people walk through its doors such as Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, and Voltaire, who allegedly drank upwards of 40 cups of coffee a day. It was a beloved institution up until the day it first closed in 1872. It later reopened in the 1920s and has been open and serving coffee to its guests ever since. The neighborhood also features many bookstores and publishing houses and has historically been a prominent literary neighborhood as well. It is also a place where the existentialist movement thrived, and figures such as Jean-Paul Sartre and Simone de Beauvoir lived and worked here. There you have it, our top pick and travel guide to eight of the best neighborhoods to visit or stay in when you visit Paris. Did your favorite area or neighborhood in Paris make our list? Comment below with your own list of the best areas you prefer or would like to stay in while in the city. We hope you find our guide helpful and if you are planning a trip to Paris, don't forget to check out the video description for our recommended best hotels and accommodations you can stay in in each neighborhood. Need help planning and finding the best vacation package to Paris or other European cities? Visit us at multicitytrips.com today and see how our travel experts can help you design and personalize your private European vacation.